Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess, if you are new here, and welcome to Subscriber Sunday. So Subscriber Sunday is a place for us to talk about your weigh-ins, your successes, your challenges, your struggles. We wanna talk about it. Plus this year, 2017, is a year of healthy habits. So I am giving myself and anybody who else who'd like to participate a challenge for the week that I hope ends up being a habit for you, not just a one week thing. So this week is going to be talking about routines. So some people may ask, well, how does that a healthy habit? What does that, how, how does having a routine help you be, lead a healthy lifestyle? Well, I will tell you, I have a pretty good morning routine. But because I don't have a good evening routine, it really messes up my mornings and makes me have to rush more than what, you know, we all rush probably in the mornings. Anyway, I have to leave my house by seven o'clock in the morning to take my son to school and then drive into work. And so I have to give myself plenty of time to be able to do that. And if I leave any time after that seven o'clock mark, it's possible I could be late because you hit traffic, you hit school traffic, you know, all that stuff so by not being prepared it you know makes you rushed so you have you know that stress level goes up plus if you're not ready for the day it is possible that you will make bad choices especially when it comes to food and I say that because me personally I have to pack all my food that I have for the day I leave at seven o'clock in the morning I don't get home till five so in between that time, anything that I am gonna be eating between that time period, I have to pack with me. So it is very easy to make easy, you know, not as good choices because I am not planning ahead. Building a daily routine, I feel like instills good habits so bad choices are not made. Having a daily schedule also makes a productivity more likely so if you have a good daily schedule which it could change day to day depending on your work schedule for me this is kind of like my Monday through Friday schedule Saturdays Saturdays and Sundays are completely different I don't feel like my routines need to start until Sunday night so it's kind of like it's actually more like for my evening routines are more like Sunday night through Thursday night Friday night and Saturday night are kind of my day off from having to stick to this routine. And the same with the mornings would be Monday through Friday. So again, like I said, I have a good morning routine. It's the evening routine that has really been throwing me off. And I feel like that, you know, I mean, I know you guys know that I'm a planner. So some people may be okay with not having a schedule and not, you know, that that's their lifestyle. That is the, how they function with me. I have to have some sort of idea of what lies ahead of me. So that is why I need to create this challenge for myself and I really hope it speaks to those of you out there who may be looking for some balance in their life, whether it's morning or evening. And I think this is easily adaptable to whatever your schedule is, whether you work mornings or evenings or, you know, overnight or, you know, whatever your schedule may be, even if you are a stay at home mom and you still feel, I still feel like you need a, some sort of schedule to make your life run smoothly and you don't have so much stress and chaos in your life. I just don't like chaos in my life. And it's not that if I don't stick to this schedule that I completely go off the rails and just go crazy and I don't um, because there's what like when I go through my morning routine I'll kind of tell you the things that possibly don't get done every single morning so it's not a big deal but it's there and it's there to help me out so I also feel like having a schedule and some sort of routine you avoid the feeling of, of being overwhelmed by creating these you know morning and evening routines and I feel like you need both to make sure that both of them run smoothly. So, you know, if you don't do certain things in the morning, it may just, it's just going to make your evening, it could make your evening more chaotic or just depending on, like I said, depending on your schedule. So let's get into this. Um, my morning routine, I'll share that with you. I'll also put it here on the screen so you can see it and pause the video and, you know, write it out if that's helpful for you. But I just want to give you some ideas 
of what I'm doing and maybe it would be helpful in your life. But the, as far as the challenge, first let me go through the challenge for this week. So I think really, I mean this routine for my morning especially, it didn't just create itself. I didn't just sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to do and it just worked smoothly forever. No, it was a work in progress. It did probably take me about a week to fine tune it. So it's just like, okay, I'm going to try this and this and this. Did this work? No, this didn't work. So I took it out. So that's what this challenge is going to be for this week. So whether you need an evening routine, a morning routine, or you need both, just kind of use my ideas as kind of a guide or, and then adapt it to your lifestyle and just kind of look at it and then throughout the week you know did this work by doing this or does this look like too much you don't really need to do this just cross it off add things on and then hopefully by the end of this week you will have yourself a good routine if you don't then just continue on until you get that routine so that is what I'm hoping the outcome of this week's challenge is, is that I have a really rock solid evening routine. So going into next week, not this coming week, because this coming week is a challenge, next week I have two solid routines that are gonna make my life just that much easier. So like again, I'm gonna start with my morning routine and I will put it up here on the screen. So um, working out is, and I'm kind of giving to you in the order that I do things or that I try to get them done. Now this is where things don't always happen as planned. I don't put times next to them even though it's pretty much the same time all the time because I mean I have to, like I said, I have to leave at a certain time so my day pretty much rolls out the same time. With the exception if my husband has to work earlier or later, sometimes that kind of throws me off a little bit. So working out, I do try to do that five days a week and I do try to start that at 4:30 in the morning, so that's kind of my, um, kind of my unofficial time is about 4:30, 4:45, and that, and so then the length of the workout definitely is dictated by the time. So I always just kind of I set my alarm for 4:30 or 4:15. Then if I don't get up at 4:30, then I get up at 4:45, and then I only have time to do you know, maybe a mile walk or maybe a two mile walk. But then if I get up at 4.30, I can do a two mile walk, sometimes a three mile walk. Um, so that is the first thing that I do in the day. The second thing I do in the morning is of course I take a shower and do my makeup. And that usually typically takes, I usually try to get into the shower by five, 5.15 at the latest. Again, depending on how long of a workout I do. So if I get in there by 5.15, then I can get out of there by 5.30 and my makeup's usually done by 6 o'clock. So, and that's my hair and my makeup and all that stuff. Um, so that, you know, those are my first things, first three things, two things, work out, then shower and makeup. Um, and then I make my bed when I'm done with that. And making the bed is more of a personal preference for me. I feel like it just, it brings the room. When I leave in the morning, I feel like if I have a made bed, then it just makes me feel like, I'm coming home to a clean house, even if the whole entire house is not clean, it just makes your bedroom look that much cleaner. So try it. If you don't make your bed before you leave in the morning, just try it one day and just see how much better it just makes you feel to leave the house. So I make the bed, then I eat breakfast, and then I start packing my lunch and snacks. And the evening routine is going to tie into this part. So in a perfect world, that would be all ready. So it's just a matter of filming it. In my case, I film what I'm packing and then I put it all into my lunch bag. My lunch bag is pretty big, so I can't really fit it in the refrigerator. And so we have a small refrigerator. So I just have to put all the stuff kind of piled in there in one spot. And then I just pull it out and put it into my lunch bag. And then um, after breakfast, after I've had breakfast and my youngest son who still is in school has breakfast, then we just I start the dishwasher after that. Um, we don't start the dishwasher the night before because I want to make sure, because usually there's room in there after dinner for some breakfast dishes. If that's full, then we start at the evening. So that's another one that's not always done every day, but um, typically it started in the morning, but sometimes in the evening. Um, and then I do a load of laundry and I, that is my goal for myself for this year is to do a load of laundry every single day. So I don't have seven or eight loads to do on the weekend like it was before. So I literally just load one in the washer and then, um, I don't worry about, you know, of course the dryer or anything is just loading a load into the washer. And then, um, 
in the, and I'll go into the evening what I do in the evening. And then I try, this is one that doesn't happen every single day, but I try to at least do it three or four times a day, three or four times a week, and that's swishing, I call it swish and wipe the bathrooms. So basically it's just a quick clean. I keep like those anti antibacterial um, wipes under each of the bathroom sinks. We have two bathrooms. And I just take them and I just wipe down, you know, just everything in there really quickly. And then I just take the toilet brush and I just swish out the toilet real quick, flush it, and then that's it. So that way it just kind of keeps it fresh and clean throughout the whole week. And then on the weekend when I do a deep clean, it's not like a huge deep clean. It's mainly just dumping the trash and mopping the floors and, you know, shaking out the rugs and that kind of thing. So... I don't clean the mirrors or anything like that during the week unless it's mess, you know, unless it's really bad. But for the most part, it's just wiping up the counters and just, you know, swishing the toilet so it's not so bad. Um, and I do have, which I do forget to do this because I don't always have it on hand, but I do have some shower cleaner stuff that you're supposed to just spray on there and you just leave it and then it just cleans it, I guess. I don't know, but I don't, I always forget to buy that so I don't have it. But when I do have it, that's one thing I do like to do too is spray the bathroom. So... And then I just get dressed and I'm out the door. I make a cup of coffee before I leave and then I'm out the door. So that is my typical morning routine. Now, how it gets disrupted is because main reason is because of the evening before. I don't, you know, if I didn't get the kitchen completely cleaned up or I did not um, plan out my clothes from the day, be the day before or I didn't... Um, you know, look and see what was for dinner and if there was any meat that needed to be taken out. So that, that's, you know, causes, you know, I was like, oh, I have to rush and do that in the morning. Um, or I um, did not figure out my lunch and didn't really kind of pack my lunch or anything like that. So that's why I need to get an evening routine set. So this is kind of my, my rough draft of my evening routine. And I'll just kind of really quickly go through this. I didn't mean for this video to be so long. Um, so of course the first thing like I said, I get home at five, typically what I've been doing now is just kind of sitting around, talking to my husband, talking to the kids, um, looking at comments, you know, looking if anybody has any videos posted and I just, you know, start kind of watching a couple videos and then, then I go start dinner. Well, believe me, my family would really prefer to eat earlier than later, but I am just kind of relaxing and I think that I need to start doing it earlier and that's just so I can get other things done and then have more time in the evening to do all this because I can talk to my husband talk to the kids at dinner we all sit down to dinner every single night except for on Saturday Friday or Saturday nights it's the only night that you know we we say everybody can kind of do their own thing for dinner so this is gonna what my plan is gonna be from now on when as soon as I get home um, I'll change my clothes and I'll start dinner and then we'll eat dinner and again at that point we can kind of more do our more chit chat thing um, then immediately after dinner clean up the kitchen clean up all the counters clean up the kitchen table put all the you know any dishes for making dinner in the dishwasher everybody else cleans up their own plates and all that of course um, wipe off the counters and then at that point instead of going and sitting down I need to right there start thinking okay what am I gonna have for lunch tomorrow what do I need to prep or what have I already prepped and I can throw together? I need to get my snacks ready. Any snacks that don't need to be refrigerated, bring them, you know, get my lunch bag. I usually keep it on top of the refrigerator, pull it down, put it on the counter that's been all cleaned up and then put any non-refrigerated snacks that I'm taking, put those by my lunch bag and then grab and maybe even if I'm you know, planning on making a sandwich or something, which I don't like to make sandwiches the night before, but get the bread out, get, you know, and then have it all planned out and then I'll write it out in my planner. And so that's my, my plan is to write it in my planner what my lunch is going to be planned for the next day and do any prep that I need to do for it. Whether it's put, you know, some carrots in a baggie or, you know, whatever it may be. I need to do all that stuff the day before, write it in my planner, and then I'm leaving my planner open on the counter next to my lunch bag, and I have there, and I'm also planning out my breakfast, so, or just an idea of what I want, and I'm going to write it in my planner. I'm writing breakfast in there, lunch in there. Dinners will already be written in there. That's my plan going to be for Sunday nights, is to write all my dinners, pre-write them in there for the whole week, because I already have my meal plan done. So, that's... One of my things I'm going to do is just plan on everything in my planner so it's there, I have it open. Um, 
plan my clothes out or at least have an idea. Don't necessarily, I don't know if I'm necessarily lay them out, but just kind of have an idea. Okay, this is what I want to wear tomorrow. And we all know that that may change the next day, but at least if I'm running late, I have a plan. Um, and then I need to take the clothes that I put in the washer the morning of and put them in the dryer. Now, if that's a Sunday, if this is a Monday morning, there won't be anything in the dryer at that point. But throughout the week, I also need to take what's in the dryer, fold it, put it away at right then and there, put the clothes that I've washed in the morning into the dryer, and then it's ready for the next morning that I can just start this all over again, put clothes in the washer, and then when I get home, pull those clothes out of the dryer, fold them, put them away. So that is what I do in the evenings. I've been doing that right now, so that part of the routine is already set in stone, it has not been an issue. Um, and then at that point, everything should be done and laid out for the next day. And I feel like if I am doing this in a, you know, if I start dinner as soon as I get home at five, dinner, I try to make all my meals to be under 30 minutes. So dinner should be on the table by 30 minutes. And that's why I do so much meal prep. That way dinner can be on the table in less than 30 minutes. Eat by 5.30, done by probably six o'clock-ish, you know, just depending. Um, clean everything up. If I clean everything up, plan out my snacks, plan out my breakfast, do the laundry. I should have all done by 6.30. That should not take me 30 minutes by no means. And then at that point, I can sit down, start editing and uploading my daily video. Um, I can watch videos while I am uploading and editing. I can watch other people's videos, catch up on comments while the video is uploading. And then at that point, I can relax. And so we're in bed usually by 9 o'clock in, in the evening because of my husband's work schedule. And I usually spend that time to read. I usually read from about 9 to 9.30 in bed. And so... But that gives me time from about, you know, seven o'clock at the latest, you know, from seven to nine to just relax and not have to worry about the next day and knowing that I have everything set in place for the next day. So, um, and also at that point when I'm sitting down is when I'm kind of going to start, probably start filling in my planner and start any kind of today to do list that I may need. So if I need to call in a prescription or I need to pick up a prescription or I need, I mean, do I need to go to the grocery store for anything? Oh, one thing I forgot, a big thing that I forgot. I don't even know. Oh yeah, I do have it written down. So looking at the menu plan for the next day. So do I need to take any ground beef out of the freezer, any chicken out of the freezer? Do I need to do anything the day before to help with the next day's dinner? Mainly it's just pulling things out of the freezer that I forget to pull out. So that is another thing that I'm going to write down on my, my routine. And then, like I guess it as I'm relaxing, having my last cup of coffee, having anything else I may want to eat for the day, that that point is when I will be filling out my planner because that's relaxing to me, filling out my planner with my next day stuff and, you know, maybe even writing down my thoughts and that kind of thing. So that is my plan for the evening routine. Let me know down below, do you already have a solid morning and evening routine? Do you have one or the other? Do you have both? Let us know down below some things that you do that helps your life. Also, don't forget to tell us how your weigh-ins have gone the last couple weeks because I didn't miss last week. So let me know how your weigh-ins are doing. Um, are you guys what kind? Of, are you guys still sticking to plan? Have you changed to different plan? Um, just let us know. Let us know any non-scale victories you've had, um, any challenges you've had that you may want to talk out that we can help you with. If you're new here, introduce yourself down below. We are just this is a wonderful, motivating an inspiring community that I am trying to develop here and it's very positive so you no worries about any kind of negativity here I don't allow it and we don't allow it at all so any negativity will be removed immediately so please I hope you feel safe here so anyway let me know your routines and if you are gonna help you're gonna join me in this challenge this week and I will talk to you guys tomorrow for Monday morning for another video and I'll have weigh-in tomorrow as well. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.